Good evening, YouTube. It's a wonderful evening in Texas. It's just so marvelous. I hardly could come inside. It's just such clear skies tonight that you can just see all the stars and all the constellations. And just, uh, it just seems like that they're a lot closer to us than now that we begin to raise our awareness. It seems like all of that is just uh, a lot closer to me now than it ever has been. Uh, I can just seem, I just seem, feel like I'm close to all the galaxies and the stars and, and it's uh, such a clear night like this. Uh, it makes me realize how limitless our mind really is and how powerful the creative ability of our mind because uh, we uh, not only came out of uh, the uh, creative mind that and the infinite mind that created this whole universe that is so vast uh, with trillions and trillions of miles of, of new uh, galaxies and stars for us to explore someday. And uh, not only did we come out of that infinite mind, but we are actually one with that infinite mind. And we actually partake in that mind as, uh, as partners in that mind. And so it just really does add to our consciousness when we realize that this is true. And it adds to our ability to see our true per perfection and uh, realize the glory of our perfection and the perfection of our glory and the power of our perfection and the, and the perfection of our power. And uh, we just see uh, and understand uh, how that when we think about the law of attraction and things like this, we realize that uh, not only do we need to... Uh, become aware of the power to attract things from, from outside of us, but we need to also become aware of all the power that is within us to uh, project things out there and to uh, put forth uh, new ideas and new creative things. And so it just makes you realize uh, that there actually is no fear, that there actually is no, uh, no uh, actual... Uh, thing to worry about because uh, our mind is so powerful that and I can name uh, like uh, three or four out of a hundred different reasons why we have no need of the future uh, to fear the future and we have no need to uh, to uh, worry about uh, population explosion or uh, any of those types of things are running out of space we have no need to worry about any of those things because our mind is so powerful and creative uh, uh, that long before we have need of anything, our creative mind has already reached out there and taken care of the situation. And so uh, we, uh, as we uh, look up into the stars and into the space and into the constellations, uh, we realize that uh, long before we need to be able to migrate to the stars and to the other galaxies and things like that. Long before we ever have the need to do it, our mind will have grown and our consciousness will have raised to the point where we will easily be able to travel there if we need to. And long before we run out of food on, in, on the earth, our, our creative mind will be able to create uh, far more food in a, in a lot more, a, a lot smaller space. And we can already do that now in a lot smaller space than we used to. It don't take vast amounts of land like it used to. Uh, they can create, uh, they can create uh, uh, gardens in uh, skyscrapers and everything now that produces abundant amounts of food, uh, and uh, they can create up them uh, uh, under the uh, oceans, waters. They can create them in the in the air. Uh, they can create them above ground, below ground. We can create food anywhere. Uh, in all kinds of artificial situations now. And so uh, we have no need of worrying about running out of food. There's plenty of food uh, in, in the world. We just need to get our consciousness up to the point where uh, the political situations will allow the food to be distributed properly. Uh, that's the only thing that we, we need to worry about in that. And then a uh, uh, couple of more would be uh, that to realize that our ability... To raise our awareness uh, to uh, the point that we can uh, 
creator that we can begin to get along with all people uh, in, in all the nations of the world can get along with each other we have the ability because of the power of our mind and because of the connection we have with with uh with uh, infinite love and with infinite mind we have the ability to coordinate things to the extent that we uh that more people can live in less space we also have the ability to develop technology with it will allow people to live in a lot less space if necessary and and have a whole lot higher standard you know there's such a thing as living in a smaller space and having a whole lot high, having such a high standard uh that you don't even need uh, that much space if you have that high uh, such a, that high of a standard and and the communications uh, that we're developing uh but uh the the vast the uh, high speed at which communication is developing, uh, and the high speed at which uh, everything from computers to the internet are, are developing uh, entails uh, the ability to bring everything into a uh, into any location on the face of the earth. We can be on any inch of space in the face of the earth, and we can communicate with all other places on earth, and so we can transact uh, uh, business without the need of a uh, of a whole you. Uh, doing a whole lot of traveling and uh taking up space on uh airplanes and uh, all those kinds of things and so uh all of those reasons just let us know that we have no need to fear the future because long before any kind of a uh, of uh, scarcity or any kind of uh need comes long before in our even in our own personal life long before the need develops and even before our wants develop, our mind goes ahead of those and uh, and creates the solution and the answers to that. So we have within our uh, mind uh, the ability, we have within our mind the answer to all of our wants and desires already. Our mind is uh, always way ahead of all of our wants and desires. Once we raise our awareness to see how powerful it is, we, we are... Uh, we raise our awareness to the to where we can become aware of the power of our mind. We have to become aware of the power of our mind, and when we become aware of all the the total energy and power of our mind, then we will see that uh, how that uh, the, how how many many thousands of times more powerful our mind is than what it would take to uh, answer any problem or what it would take to create any want that we have, or what it would take to uh, to develop, to uh, present any kind of a degree of abundance to us, our mind is far more powerful than any ab- amount of abundance. And so when we realize that, what we need to realize about, uh, about 1 John 3 and 2, and uh, Matthew uh, Matthew seventeen two and Mark eleven twenty three and John seven thirty eight and all those verses like that uh, and uh, verses that tell us to uh, those are verses that call us are calling us to raise our awareness to see our total perfection and to see our total energy and to see the total power of our mind and to see uh, all the glory that in which we can all become aware of and receive and enjoy. Uh, as it says, First John three and two, it says, uh, "We, uh, when we, when we see Jesus as He is, we will be like Him." Uh, that's talking about His perfection and His completeness and His uh, the power and dominion of His mind and all those kinds of things. When we raise our, uh, that's saying, that's telling us, raise your awareness to see h- uh, how powerful your mind can actually be. Raise your awareness to see how powerful the mind of Christ was. Raise your awareness to see how perfect Christ was. Raise your raise your awareness to see how infinite God is. Raise your awareness to see how much love uh, God had for the world. Raise your awareness to see how much uh, joy he pours out upon us. Raise your awareness to see how vast is uh, is uh, all of the things that he has created. And when we do that, then, then we will become like that because we'll see it will, we'll actually see and become aware of of the nature of it and how powerful it is and how glorious it all is. And just the very act of, of realizing how powerful and glory uh, all of the universe is and all the things God created and all the, all the nature of God is, the very act of realizing that raises our own awareness 
and it makes us realize how powerful we actually are as a uh, as a uh, beings which are one with this uh, infinite mind and so we see uh, and we read uh, books like the ageless mind uh or ageless body timeless mind by deepak chopra and actually uh our mind also is ageless not just our body uh and uh our ageless uh ageless body a uh, timeless mind our body uh our body is is timeless and our mind is timeless the body, not the body which we uh, think we see, but uh, the body which is behind it, the body which is behind the bo- what we think we see in the physical, uh, that uh, body and that soul is timeless, completely timeless, and uh, will be here from now uh, throughout eternity. And uh, as we begin to realize that and recognize that, we'll begin to draw upon that, and that will enable us to increase the power of our mind and and, uh, and and have a lot more abundance in our in our existence now, uh, to, but as well then is becoming aware of uh, of uh, the law of attraction as far as the things without we become aware of the the law of uh, the law of uh, perfection the law of uh, of uh, the law of our mind the law of the power of our mind the law of the uh, awareness the law of awareness. We become not not just aware of the law of attraction, but the law of awareness. And that the more we are aware of, uh, and the more we raise our awareness, uh, the more energy and power and creative ability we have. And so we need to be aware of the infinite power and energy of our mind to create all things, including abundance. You know, it's a... uh, the abundance of this world is small when we when you when compare it with the the entire universe and uh, what all the uh, how vast the universe is and yet our mind is one with that uh, with the very infinite mind which created all those things and so it, that shows us that how how much more our mind can get into the idea of abundance uh, than what we if we would get into just by looking around at the uh, things on this uh, that are in this one particular planet earth but uh our mind uh, our mind as far as thinking ability is timeless and our mind as far as infinite creativity is timeless and one with you uni- uh, with uh, infinite mind and uh and uh, it's limitless and uh it, there's the limitless uh how, to the degree uh, how the degree of which we can raise our consciousness is limitless the degree to which we can raise our awareness is limitless therefore uh, the degree to which we can have all abundance is limitless and all we have to do is begin to see these things uh, and then we are aware of uh, that it is true John 7:38 out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water he didn't even bother with just one river he just said many rivers. Of living water and living water being water that, uh, that, that is actually productive, uh, uh, infinite rivers of productive, immortal water that's just immortal and full of life and full of eternity and full of infinite mind and full of infinite power, full of creativity and full of all abundance. All of those rivers flow out of us. They're already all abundance is already within us. All perfections already there available. All we have to do is lift our awareness and our consciousness to it. And I uh, see it, uh, and we realize then that we're, uh, we're coexistent with infinite mind. And uh, our uh, mind is uh, capable of uh, the creative thought, thought, as I say, to migrate throughout the entire universe, to grow food in less space, to create the type of technology that enables a much higher level of existence and quality of life for all people. We're already able to create all those things. We're able to live in whatever is less space, less space, but we're also able to we're also uh, able to create more space and uh, and travel to other planets and other universes and other uh, galaxies, and we're able we have a limitless be- ability to cr- to create the being uh, to be to do to have and to create a limitless ability to be to do and to have and to create. That's all within our mind now. A limitless abundance is within our mind now. Uh, Mark uh, eleven twenty three says, uh, 
whatever you uh, say believing will happen, even moving of mountains, moving of mountains. Uh, er, uh, that shows you again how creative and how powerful our mind is. And so you think about those things and you'll be able to manifest whatever you need to manifest. You'll be able to raise your awareness to however you need to and have a good, a wonderful, marvelous evening.